Hello and welcome to creating your first GraphQL endpoint using dgraph. To start off, the first thing we need to make sure is that we've created a dgraph cloud account and are signed in. Once signed in, you're going to come to this page. From here, what we'll do is click launch a backend. Now we'll come over to under select a product type to free, and then we'll pick the region which best suits where we're going to be running our application. For me, it's going to work best in US East. After this, we'll come over to launch and launch our new backend. Now our backend has been created and you'll see that we have a generated GraphQL endpoint. At this point, the next thing that we're going to do is actually add in our GraphQL schema. To do that, we'll come over under develop, we'll click on schema, and then we will paste in the GraphQL schema that we want to use. For our purposes in this one, what we'll use is this simple one, which shows an author, and each author has articles. So we have two types, and each of those types have multiple fields. You'll also see that there are some GraphQL directives that have been added in here that you may not be familiar with. We'll get to those in later tutorials. For right now, this will work for us to be able to deploy and create and use a GraphQL endpoint. So we'll click deploy. And at this point, our schema has been updated successfully. And now we can actually start to use this schema within dgraph. I'll click OK. And the next thing we'll do is come over to GraphQL under the develop menu. Once we're here, what we'll do is we're going to add in a mutation. And this mutation that we'll use is going to be one called add authors. And it is going to, using some inputs, is going to add authors into our database so that we can later use this data. As you can see with this mutation, we're calling it add authors and it's going to take author input. That author input is actually going to come through a query variable. I'm going to paste in some data here, which is basically consists of authors, which you can see an ID, a name, and then the articles that they have. Once this stuff is populated, then what I can do is click the play button. This then adds in this data into the GraphQL database or the graph database that underpins the dgraph platform. To check to make sure that this worked successfully, even though we can see it here, we can actually visualize a lot of this and we can go over to Data Studio. And here you can see under author that we have five different authors and we have their respective articles as well. At this point, we're ready to begin using this data and this GraphQL endpoint within our applications.